from CareCo TV, one of the longest running outdoor programs on television today. Exploring the country and the coast in search of adventure. From the mountains of the Great Northwest to the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin. This week on Americana Outdoors, we hit the water for walleye at one of the most exciting walleye tournaments around, the Cabela's National Team Championship. That is what it's all about! But first, we'll switch some gears and head on over to camp with the staff as they get prepared for another great season of hunting ahead. Every year, in order to get ready, wildlife and land management are crucial to your success come hunting season. With Cabela's long-standing tradition of understanding what it takes to help you manage your property, we've invited Justin Bryan, Cabela's Southwest Regional Wildlife Biologist, to lend a hand to both Cody Levy and Will Cooper. And I'm going to be working with Will and Cody today. They've been working on various fishing shows and hunting shows throughout the year. But what they haven't been able to do is spend some time on the Cabela's LM50 tractor. What I want to do is get with them today and show them how easy it is to use the tractor and to go through various implements, how to run it, how to be safe on it. So let's start at the front. You know, on the front we've got the bucket, just about every tractor everybody has. The loader arms and the quick detach, you can just pop these two up, the bucket comes off. At that point we can put on pallet forks, we can put on a bell spear, there's quite a bit of different attachments we can put on it, but it's a nice easy way to detach and keep it going. Cody and I have both never really driven a tractor before. We've gotten to drive it here and there around camp, but it wasn't going to be too hard just from seeing Wade and Justin and everybody else get on the tractor. It didn't seem that daunting of a task. For, for a guy that's never driven a tractor, my advice would be not to overthink things. Now on the rear of the tractor, we've got our three-point attachment. So you've got point one, two, three, and that's how we're going to attach all of our rear implements, such as the disc, doesn't matter if it's a cedar, could be the backhoe. They're all going to attach right here as your main attachment point. Really, this is the back of the tractor. We can move to the seat and where everything's controlled and show you guys how that works. It, it looks a little confusing and hard to run, but once Justin taught us how to do everything and the ins and outs of the tractor, it was pretty easy getting out there today and disking this field. Just like driving a car, you've got your key, turn it on. You've got your brake pedal on this particular tractor, on tractors in general. You've got two separate brake pedals. If you wanted to brake this side and more or less do a zero turn, you could do that. Same thing with the left side. If we want to go forward, we just engage the clutch, push that forward, it's going to be in drive. When you want to go in reverse, stop the tractor, push the clutch in, pull it down, it's going to go in reverse, it's going to beep so you know it's in reverse. And you're ready to go. Once that clutch comes up, you're going to start rolling, give it a little gas, and you're rolling. All right, now that we know how to run the tractor, the bucket's really simple. This arm really runs north, south, east and west. So to raise the bucket, you're going to pull it back. It's going to raise the bucket, push the bucket down, push it north. Getting to come out here and work on the fields that we hunt over, it's really nice to come out here and work on these, put all the hard work into it because deer hunting isn't just something that lasts as long as football season. It's something that lasts year round and later on in the season getting to see the fruits of our labors, it's, it's real rewarding. It's pretty special and I feel like I, I'm a lot closer to the hunt than just coming on a field and you know, trying my luck. So um, I'm pretty excited to see what uh, what we can do, you know, seeding wise and how it'll grow and uh, reap the benefits when it comes time. Guys did pretty good. They uh, kept pretty safe on it. I think they figured out it was pretty simple and easy to run a tractor. And uh, after, you know, spending a little bit of time on it, they were able to figure out how to listen to the tractor and respond to whether it was gurgling a little bit or whether it was pulling right. They, they, they were able to hear it and to feel what the tractor was doing. So overall, pretty good job. To learn more about how Cabela's can assist you with your needs, whether it be expert information or a new tractor, check out Cabela's.com. Well, up next, we hit the Cabela's National Team Championship for what promises to be an exciting walleye tournament. Don't go away. More from Americana Outdoors when we return.
Gill that I've used for the last five years has been a far superior product than anything else on the market. The main thing that's really important to me is me being dry. I've been wearing Gill suits now for three years and never once have I gotten wet. When you pack your cooler for a barbecue or even a tailgate party, be sure to pack it with Chill and Brew, powered by Arctic Ice. Chill and Brew in a cooler can keep beer at the perfect drinking temperature longer than ice. Grab some brews and Chill and Brew today. My secret weapon? Evercom. It's the first ever calming scent. It's real smells from bedding areas. To deer, that means safety. Evercom reassures even nervous deer. Which can help you get the shot. I use Evercom all season long. Put it on your boots, your pants, and your decoy. It's stick form, won't wash away or freeze. Evercom. 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 From the family deer farm at Conquest Sense. Engineered to excel, the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series are built for the ultimate ownership experience. It's a commitment to excellence packed with real-world advantages and exclusive features. Experience the accelerated performance standards of the legendary Ranger Z series. From first light to last cast, they're put together to set you apart. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. member of the Yamaha off-road family. It thrives in the most remote, rugged terrain. It never steps down from a challenge and travels long distances in search of adventure. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine. It's a whole new animal. The Pan Optics is the future of fishing. We can see our lures coming in. We can choose the proper lures for the depth the fish are in. It makes fishing so much easier when you go to a new body of water because now you can really identify with the bass, figure out where they're feeding, what depth they're at, and really learn how they're reacting to your lures. To be able to see that kind of stuff and understand it and then interpret it, put it into your game, unbelievable. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Cabela's, it's in your nature. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Hydro Wave, ignite a feeding frenzy. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Today we're highlighting one of the most exciting tournaments for walleye anglers, the Cabela's National Team Championship. This event is a result of partnerships formed with Cabela's, the Walleye Federation, and Walleye Tournaments, circuits, and clubs across the nation. So this is the 13th Cabela's NTC. It's just a premier grassroots walleye tournament championship that, um, you know, we have English from across the country and from different qualifying associations that fish all year long the previous year to qualify for, the, for an invitation to this year's tournament. Anglers that have secured invitations through these organizations have an opportunity to compete for added cash and prizes in a true national championship tournament. With Cabela's commitment to the sport of tournament walleye fishing, this national championship allows grassroots anglers to shine, along with some well-known pros to fish for their share of over $200,000 in cash and prizes. Well, first, let's learn a little bit about our host for the tournament, Milford Lake in Junction City, Kansas. 
Well, the Cabela's National Team Championship is uh, here at our lake this year, and they'll crown the best of the best, and a lot of money at stake, and uh, we've got the fishery that'll handle it. Milford Lake is the largest lake in Kansas. It's known as the fishing capital of Kansas, and it's 163 mile shoreline. It's over 16,000 surface acres of water. It's a beautiful lake right in the central Flint Hills region of Kansas. It's just a great place to get away, and also to vacation, and to fish, of course. We have the largest 4th of July celebration, which is free in our community. It's July 1st through 4th, and uh, you know, to bring lawn chair. We do things for the community. We do things for the soldier, and there's always something to do here. I mean, you know, we're close to being about an event capital <laughs> because there is so many things to do. People are friendly. Uh, they feel appreciated here. They really feel like they're at home. We can pride ourselves in Junction City is because we are a little bit of an international community based off of the military. This morning we've got uh, approximately 45 soldiers out there fishing uh, with the anglers, and uh, they're going to learn some techniques while they're out there. They're going to uh, be able to talk to these people, find out where they're from. We've hosted many tournaments over the years and some of those tournaments have had lasting relationships between the soldiers and the anglers that have taken them out. They'll go back and they'll talk to their friends about our community and it'll, it'll have a domino effect as well. Uh, we're very happy about uh, them being here and we've got the fishery to prove it. With the pre-tournament festivities wrapping up, we're now ready to begin the first day of the Cabela's National Team Championship. We're fishing for the, uh, for the rights to be the champion of the NTC, uh, Cabela's NTC Championship. The people we're fishing against fish this for, you know, a lot of them for a living, you know. A lot of guys, a lot of guys that, that do it and they do it hard. You know, this is where you've got little teams that have qualified through small circuits all the way up to some of the big dogs and everything in between and I tell you what they're all formidable competitors they're all fierce they're all rabid they're here to catch big walleyes and I tell you what man it's anybody's game you know you take some of these teams that are in this from Nebraska South Dakota Kansas North Dakota Montana and they can make adjustments on the fly and figure it out so it's gonna be tough that's what it's gonna take so somebody's got to win it. It just as well out be us boys from southern Nebraska. Just go out and fish. There's no reason to be in any hurry, and hopefully we'll get into a good school. We've we've adapted to every weather condition. We've adapted to storms. One day, next day warm. One day, next day calm. And wind blows different ways each day. And this lake seems to be one of those lakes that the wind blows into it. You better be over there. Well, good morning. It's Cabela's National Team Championship here in Junction City, Kansas on Lake Milford, and we've got some weather coming in. Uh, we had a little bit of a delay this morning getting on the water because of some lightning strikes, but uh, we just checked on the, uh, on the lightning strike app, and the nearest lightning strike was about 50 miles away 10 minutes ago, so we're going to put the boats on the water, and we're going to get them out, hopefully get them started on time this morning. Uh, Mother Nature always wins in fishing tournaments whole week pre-fishing it was I mean it was sporadic I mean we didn't have walleye every half hour I mean it was it was slow get him there we go that's what we're looking for that's what we're looking for After a tough start, persistence has paid off for the team of Scott Sundin and Jay Johnson. When we return, we'll see how others have fared after the first day of competition. If you'd like to learn more about the Cabela's National Team Championship, check them out online at walleyefederation.com forward slash Cabela's dash NTC. You know, a good knife is something that's uh you can't ever underestimate the importance of. That's why when we found out about Bubba Blade a couple years ago, it was uh, just like this eye-opening experience. We now had a knife that could do everything we needed to do. And it didn't matter what we were doing. It didn't matter whether we were cutting pizza at home, cutting up salami, or cleaning deer. It didn't matter whether we were cleaning or, or filleting the roughest fish we'd ever dealt with. It handled everything we needed it to do. To learn more about the Bubba Blade, visit their website at BubbaBlade.com. 
After your next successful fishing trip, savor the flavor with a Bradley smoker. They have a whole list of creative recipes for catch with a wide variety of delicious smoky wood flavors. Find out more about making your meal as memorable as the fishing trip at bradleysmoker.com. Fast, affordable, and incredibly light. The all-new Shadow Ultralight from Tenpoint. The lightest and most compact crossbow on the market today. Tenpoint. There is no substitute. Experience high this A brighter sight picture than standard sights, giving you an immediate, more successful shooting performance. high this lets you see a dramatic contrast between the target and the barrel for a more intuitive aim that delivers instant results. Our light pipes come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors, designed to be seen in a variety of conditions. With our broad line of sights, you'll see your marksmanship dramatically improve, bringing more fun and confidence into every shooting experience. Shoot more accurately. Enjoy the sport. Choose high this Heavy duty, rugged, and designed for the big game hunter and angler. The Food Saver Game Saver Titanium Vacuum Sealer has the power and performance to seal in the freshness of your game and fish for up to three years, five times longer than standard storage methods. And with its extra wide dual and repetitive sealing capabilities, that's a ton of big game savings. Tough tested and rated 4.8 out of five stars by outdoorsmen just like you. The Food Saver Titanium System, it's a true game changer. At Amphibia, we've resolved to build a product that nobody else offers using methods that nobody else is using, optimized for life on water and land. The choice of top bass fishing pros. Amphibia frames are designed to fit comfortably no matter how your face is shaped, to stay firmly in place through your most physical activities and to float in water. Amphibia sunglasses are truly designed for life on the water. Nikon's no-fault policy was created for those who continually push the envelope, travel the farthest, stay the longest, brave the most hostile elements. We do our best to deliver on our promise of a lifetime of performance. And we'll stand with you should accidents happen. Trust earned. Nikon. Comfortable to carry, comfortable to shoot. It's slim, concealable, and powerful protection. The M&P Shield by Smith & Wesson. Confidence? We perfected that years ago. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Bradley Smoker. Food smoking made easy. Arctic ice, bitterly cold. Amphibia sunglasses, performance floating eye gear. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Day one of the Cabela's National Team Championship is wrapping up. Walleye anglers from all parts of the country battle it out on Lake Milford for the first of three days of competition. Let's see how they fared. 23 pounds, 15 ounces, we have a new leader. It was, a, uh, it was a good day. Uh, the spot we had was uh, a lot of big fish. We were going for five bites, and uh, we got our five bites, lost a nice one at the boat, but the uh, four we got were uh, enough to put us in first place for the day so far anyways. Bill Coons and Greg Belgum brought just four fish to the scales for a total weight of 23.15 pounds. On day two, they're hoping to bring in a heavier five fish limit. We got a long day in front of us. We got to get five good bites today, and uh, hopefully they're there. It's going to have a lot of, a lot of pressure on the spot. I'm, I got a feeling, but uh, I think we can get them if we grind it out. That's the one. Oh, I don't know. Net's all screwed up. See if he's big enough. He can be close. Well, it was uh, just short 18. You can get it to. Yes, barely touch every now and then, but it just wasn't, I think it would have made it. And uh, it's close, close. It's a nice walleye. Some anglers are feeling pressure on day two, as several anglers are fishing in closer quarters today. Uncle Jeff has made the call. 
He says we got lots of time in the day. We got a secondary spot we can go check out. Pretty good chance there ain't 62,000 boats on it. Ain't been on it, may not be on it. These are the kind of moves that get you into the cut. These are the kind of moves that sometimes pay off and sometimes they don't, but you know what? Sometimes when things get stale and stagnant, you just gotta make a move, right, Jeff? That's right. Is that a fish? Oh, yeah, it's a yeah, fish. Yeah, that's a fish. That's a good one, too. You hooked up? You got him? Yeah. Okay. It looked like a good one the way it bit. Okay, here he comes. He's looking. Oh! Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby! That is what it's all about! Woo! Get it, get it! Let's we go. all Americans now! Get him in there alive well, baby. See, that's what we're talking about. You make a move, you go to a spot. Jeff, I need help. You go to a spot where there ain't nobody doing what you're doing. Do a little something a little bit different. And this is what you'll get. Walleye jail. Until it's time for the big show. So I'm gonna tell you what. This is what the Cabela's NTC is all about. I got my fire line. I got my crankbait snap, but I still haven't got back my composure. <laughs> this is one of those days where it's it's a fun job to have. That should get us in the final day. It should. But you never know, you know, because a lot of these guys get it figured out. They can get her done. They're good fishermen out here, so. A lot of guys will be getting it done today. Hey, 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 hey. That looks like one of them good ones, too. Take it easy. Now, let's head on over to Tom Davis and Leon Patterson, who on day one finished in second place. Nice and easy. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh. Nice and easy. I don't think so. It might actually might push it. It's good to 18 and a half. Well, there's number two. Ranger has a long heritage of participating with tournament fishermen. Uh, there was really somewhat of a chasm that was created maybe some years ago for the guys that fish walleye, that fish the multi-species type events around the country. The people at the Walleye Federation stepped in and with our participation, participation of some other good sponsors, Evan Root and the like, you know, were able to bring really a grassroots competitor to the level that they can fish really a national level event in terms of notoriety, prizes and the like. So, it, you know, it's a perfect coupling, if you will, of the grassroots anglers that we want to see in our boats and that we want to have our boats exposed to, but still yet give them a venue where they can feel like they're really on a professional national level type forum. If you're in the market for a multi-species boat, check out rangerboats.com, where you'll find a wide variety to suit your needs. Now, let's put your ranger boat knowledge to the test. What's the rod box length on the Ranger Fisherman Series 619FS? For this answer and a whole lot more, log on to mydreamrig.com. More coverage to come of the Cabela's National Team Championship on Americana Outdoors when we return. Stay with us. Hobie kayaks provide the ultimate lightweight fishing platforms that will offer anyone what they want when it comes time to hit the water. Hobie Kayak's commitment to innovation, quality, and owner satisfaction is unparalleled in the industry. So when it's time for you to go kayaking, remember there's only one name to remember. And that's Hobie Kayak. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more.
Engel coolers. Go with the original. Stealth Cam. Trail cameras with features you demand. With the durability and performance you can count on. Built to withstand even the harshest conditions. Stealth Cam. Join the Trail Cam Revolution. The world's best fishing line is now available in the United States. Sunline FX2, the strongest braid available. <laughs> this braid, I oh, absolutely love it. Reliable, proven. Until there's no more ground to cover and no more stories to tell. When you're a TC Venture Hunter, the hunt never ends. Americana Outdoors, presented by Garmin, is brought to you by Food Saver, the number one vacuum sealing system. Yamaha ATV, real world tough. Chill and Brew, the coolest addition to your cooler. Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. Day two weigh-in of the Cabela's National Team Championship is underway. Let's see who made the cut. They have the biggest basket of the tournament at 24 pounds, two ounces. Gives them 35 pounds, 12 ounces, and our new leaders grab a couple of fish. You know, it's been a tough couple of weeks of fishing here, and got the lucky bites in two days, and just a weight off my shoulders right now. Been right. trying for this for years. Right, yeah, yeah, we were here in 2003 and we were catching big fish. We knew where they were, and uh, they were pretty much in the same place we were last, uh, 2003. And uh, hopefully we can get five of those bigger, bigger ones and have a, even a bigger bag tomorrow. With the third and final tournament day ahead, anglers are expecting weather conditions to worsen on Lake Milford, with high winds along with a cold front moving in. I'm just hoping we get a couple bites today. This cold front really, I, I think, hurt, hurt, hurt things a little bit. Uh, we, we're not sure. We're not really from around here, so we don't know what it really does to the fish. But back home, this this will put a damper on things. And uh, I think we get two bites, we'll be okay today. I don't know if it's the right kind. Oh yeah. Put in neutral. Get ready. It's coming. It's coming. He's little. I don't care if we take him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll take that any day. One down. Another Cabela's exclusive, I think. That's a Sharks Growler. <laughs> Thank you for making them. Almost every fish we've caught has come on this bait. That's where we caught most of our fish on. It's a great bait. Send me some, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got on this ledge now. Yeah, the guy kind of chopped us a little bit, but that's okay. I mean, we knew it was gonna be a grind at all. So I'm not too worried, keeping our fingers crossed. You know, it's like the guys in, uh, the guys that were leading the tournament, they had a, a good bag on day one, and they did that, that didn't do that good yesterday, and it, it can happen to us, so I'm not, there's no deal sealed, man. Everybody has a chance here, you know? Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this might be wrong. I don't even know, it's big fish. It might be right. Could be wrong, but it could be right. <laughs> oh yeah, he's acting right now. Please don't come off. Oh God, this is a big one, Jimmy. Put it in neutral. It is. Put it in reverse. Absolutely. Oh God. Oh, please God. Please, you're gonna have to reach for him. Time. Yes! Yes! On the sail hole! Bite it, buddy! <laughs> yes! This is fine. Oh Here's my the big god. Ones if you need them. Oh my god. Yeah, baby. 
Kansas City walleye, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sometimes on the tournament trail, things just go your way. We head back to the weigh-in now to see if Ed and Jim can seal the deal today. Six pounds, 11 ounces. To be the next Cabela's National Team Champion. Junction City, are you ready for a national team champion? Two fish for Ed Kopech and Jim Miller. Seven pounds, 13 ounces. Our new Cabela's National Team Champion for 43 pounds, nine ounces. two bites today uh, that, that we caught in the boat. Uh, we lost one nice fish. You know, we had one 18 incher and I go, man, we kept marking this one big fish all the time. And I'm like, God, we need to get that fish. And Jimmy's like, I got the bait. He put on a blue and chrome RS shad wrap and that thing caught the six pound, eight ounce we got at the end of the day in the last five minutes. I'll take it, man. I love it, man. And this is the most, probably the most exciting day of my life. And I did it with my best friend's son. Congratulations to your champions, Ed Klopacki and Jim Miller. While today's fishing conditions were less than desirable, they stayed positive and finished out strong on the final day, taking home the Cabela's National Team Championship. We'd like to thank Cabela's and all of the competitors for putting on quite the show for Junction City, Kansas. If you enjoyed this show, then we encourage you to check out AmericanaOutdoors.com for more great stories from the field. And a special thanks to our sponsors for making this episode possible. If you're in the market for new gear, please support those that support us. Americana Outdoors is a CareCo TV production. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.